What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm the Middle Age Gamer and this is the Tokyo Marui FN FNX 45 in black. This is an absolutely beautiful tactical pistol and without further ado let's get this thing open. Lovely tight seal boxes. TM really know how to package. Now under the lid as you can see here you get your little um, leaflets and all your other bits and bobs which are awesome. So we'll set that aside. Now, this is where TM, like I say, does really shine with its presentation. You get the pistol here, which underneath is your cleaning and unjamming rod. Awesome. You get your magazine and multiple back straps. But underneath that, you get your accessory box. Now let's have a look what they gave us. I've never actually opened this since I bought it. So let's have a look. Okay, oh, more stuff there. Right, so you get your barrel plug, whack that back in. You get your Allen wrench and plate screws for mounting an optic. You get your dry fire adapters, which are awesome, especially if you're into the movie making, and your bag of BBs. Now let's pack that back up. Now, this was originally made for the US military trials and other worldly trials. It's seen more military adoption within Belgium, um, its home base, as you would say, and some other nations have adopted it as little bits. It's mainly become a police sidearm in Europe as well as in America, but it failed in the trials. Not because it was a bad gun, just costs and competitors. It was really tough. Now, for TM, as you can see, this one comes with the optics plate. If you bought, purchase the full kit, you will get an optic here and you will get the suppressor here. As I own both of those already, I didn't need those. So save yourself £100 and get one of these. It's a lot better, um, especially for your value for your money. You can find the suppressor and that and the optic cheaper. So let's have a look at the gun. We'll yeet the hop-up tag away. Now, as you can see, the gun itself looks absolutely beautiful. I mean, it feels nice. For a polymer-framed pistol with a polymer slide being TM, it's a really nice weight. You've got your lovely markings. You have your FN on your grip, and on the slide, the FNX 45 tactical markings, 45 ACP. And if we flip it around, yep, it's just 45 on the main breech. Stainless steel here, even though it's polymer. Um, but then you get your Japanese markings, which have to be on there for TM and Japan, their laws, um, being made in Japan. Now, this is, as you can tell, fully ambi controls. You have a, a fully ambi. There's no swap needed for your mag release. You have your fully ambi safety and down for D cock, which puts it into half cock, just like the HKs. Uh, your SIG style takedown lever and your Glock style I would say slide release. You do get your 16 millimeter clockwise thread. Like I say, it's the Tokyo Maru, so you will get that. And your suppressor height sights. What's cool about this is these sights have glow paint in them already. So if you whack a nice bright light on them, they will glow for around about 30 to 45 seconds. So if you're going into a dark room, quick flash of your light and away you go. Kind of cool for gameplay. Um, just adding that little extra. As you can see, you've got your optics mount here, and these sights are really big for suppressor, so you've got no problem with the high bore that's on this. So you can clear that and get a proper target. As you can see, you do have a single shot pull and a double action pull. This being Toki Maru will fire when you've got no BB in the chamber, but you've put a mag in, you can just pull the trigger and it will cycle the gun, which will in turn load a new round. Um, that seems to be common with TM compared to other company like VSC, which you would have to rack it to do it. Um, but still, it's either way. Now, like I say the pull on the trigger, if I put it into single action, you've got one, two, there's your wall, it's nice stiff wall, break. And if I reset, it's one, two, three, four millimeters of reset, nice audible tactile click, and you're ready to one, 
call it two millimeters back to that wall again to the brake on your double action it's a big long you talk about eight pound pull it's a heavy trigger to pull on that but that's the price for all double action um and if you decock it and you put the hammer into half cock that is already there now sort of like you've taken a bit of the slot but there's still a lot more than the hk45 on the creep and it's a big long pull and then you get it that's Basically, the way I'd run this gun is single action only, and I'd forget the double action. It's nice to be have it there if you've decocked it for safety, for whatever reason. It's nice to have. Underneath, you do get your unique QR code and serial number, which is awesome. And as I say, to knock the back straps out, it's just literally pull this tab up and slide them off, and you can put any of them on there. This is a standard one, as I've not really needed to adapt it for my hand anyway. Um, with that being said, Let's take this outside to the chronograph and let's see what we can do. Okay, I'm using 0.2 gram BBs and green gas. Okay, that was a nice FPS test. Now let's go and test its accuracy. I'm gonna push it back to 15 meters and let's see, cause that's typical max range of CQB. Okay, that was 10 shots on target, and that's nice. That's not bad at all. Okay, so now that's out, let's make the gun safe. Mag out. These magazines are 24 rounds, thereabouts. You have a lovely, firm, rubber-ish, I would say, bumper at the bottom, but please don't drop them. They're not meant for that, to be honest. It's just for show. Um, but while we've got the slide as is, let's make our lives a little bit easier. We'll take the thread protector off now and we'll break this down. So to do that, leave it locked, turn the SIG style lock and just release and away it goes. Now, here on the lower frame, as you can see, you have your metal hammer, which is nice. Um, you have your steel striker in there, although this one is considerably, I don't know if I can get that in. But if I... Uh, yeah, the um, striker on this is very small. It's very hard to get on camera, but it's a it's a smaller, darker striker on there rather than the traditional silver that we've been seeing TM use, especially with the HK forty five. You have your full ambi slide stop release. Your nice, how would say, midsection rails. And you have the little bits here in the rear, which are nice. They're all metal. Other than that, this is a bog standard, I would say, TM design that they've come up with. Um, it's very durable. The polymer is absolutely rigid. Um, the nice metal double action trigger, which is awesome. Um, you have metal double, uh, decocker, stroke safety, and you have the metal mag release, metal, takedown, etc. They're all your basic controls and important parts are metal. But it's nothing special on this design for the lower frame. Now, as we go to the slide, you have your guide rod and spring. The spring is steel. The guide rod is aluminum with a plastic, I would say, barrel support, stroke bushing there. Um, to remove the barrel and hop, just pull back and you should be able to angle it out. That being said, come on, there we go. Nice tight fit, I will say that. Okay, we'll get to the barrel in a moment. Now, your metal on this, you have metal reinforcements here at the front. This is a full metal insert towards the front, but from here to about here, it's polymer. And you can see the metal inserts again from here all the way back. So yeah, with this gun, I highly advise you guys to use dust to gas in a hot 
climate um, during summertime. But once you get the winter, you can run this on uh, New Prol 2 or Green Gas or out like that, no problem. Um, it's not worth putting this through. It, they did add material just for support. You know, um, the blowback housing is nice. It's their new designs. There is rollers inside it for you can feel it from the smoothness. There's no actual metal grindy or grippy stuff there. So there's nothing interfering, which gives you a nice, snappy, smooth recoil. Um, but yeah, other than that, it is, it's decent, you know. Um, it's a lovely slide. Just be careful when it comes down to the support. As for your barrel, it's a full, how to say, metal from here to here. This is all metal here, but you can see there's a slight seam there. That's where your plastic appears. Now, this is really rigid and it's hard because it's got the texture of metal. It's hard to tell, but it is. It's polymer oh, plastic. You have a traditional Marui wheel hot, which is great. And yeah, it's compatible with all usual aftermarket support so any marui pistol um i would say bookings and inner barrels will be compatible with this that's not a problem to put this back together you angle that in and then just get this and it goes into there like so to reassemble it's a case of in lock it to the rear make sure that everything's in place by pushing your barrel back uh, a little bit and then boom you can release it. There's no magging, so you can do that. So yeah, so what do I think about it? It's a lovely gun, and it really does, how do you say, shine, especially under the, um, how would you say, the guys it was made for. It is a tactical shooter, and if you're going to run this suppressed with a tracer on the end or, you know, put the optic on, uh, it would be an absolute beast in gameplay. I've used it once or twice, um, because sadly I have so many tactical pistols and this one has always been one that's there. Um, you know, it's, it, it is reliable. Um, especially when you follow its normal, how to say quirks, but, um, yeah, comparing it to the VFC one, I don't have the VFC one to hand at the moment, but I have owned a VFC, um, FNX 45 civilian. I got it from, um, a UK store and it came with a dead trigger out the box so t TM had really very little things to beat there they they did exactly what they they, they do always and come to the market with a great product um, so yeah other than that like I say she's a really good gun and well worth a place in anyone's collection I'm I'm glad to have this gun in my collection I really like it um, it really does suit my tactical mil spec vibe that I run in airsoft. Um, but like I say, I have so many at the moment. Um, but yeah, it, it's awesome. So I highly recommend you get the TM one over the VFC. You're guaranteed to at least have a product that works. And as long as you keep the gas correct for the time of year you're in or the, the, the temperatures you're in and elevation and that, you'll be fine. This gun should last you all day long. Magazines retail for about 28 pounds a mag. So they're on par with the um, high capper mags in that respect, holding just a few less, but it's still a nice large quantity. Um, so yeah, and like I say, parts are very widely available. So go for it guys, enjoy. And if you got to this point in the video and you, you like what you see, please hit that like and subscribe button. I don't wanna be one of those YouTubers that constantly reminds you, but it's a huge thank you to every one of you who subscribed to my channel. You're all absolutely amazing. And if you're not, please do. You'll, you'll love the content that's coming down the pipeline. Um, you know, and this will be going on now as long as you guys require it, you know. And airsoft's the thing, I guess. So, yeah, please do all the algorithm stuff and enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one.